Now, talking about the physics of light, there are many other things we could talk about. But you know, one application of light is in television. And uh, in fact, we have in the back of the room a television camera, and it's uh, showing a picture of me. But you notice a curious thing. The, the camera is also seeing the screen that the image is projected on. And so you can see on the screen, there's a picture of a screen. And on that screen is a picture of a screen, and so forth and so on. And this is something called a fractal. It's a geometric object that is self-similar. It contains many images of itself on ever smaller scales. And uh, I want to show you some other examples of fractals. And for that, I'm going to show you some fractals that I actually produced on the computer. And these are all produced as solutions of mathematical equations. And they're very simple equations. And all of these images I'm showing you are, in fact, from the same equation with just different values of some of the constants in the equation. And it's truly amazing that uh, one can do that. And fractals appear all over the place in physics and in nature. 